Welcome back, everybody, to the CES coverage from the Chupacabras Lab for 2014. And we're going to be talking about the magical world of the Oculus Rift. Yeah, so what they've done for CES this year is they're, they're demoing what they call Crystal Cove. And it has some uh, two really big differences over the uh, previous like dev kits of Oculus Rift. Um, the first being that it, it tracks your head movements uh, a lot better, so you can look around corners or, or under things instead of just moving around your head like like a ball. Yeah, it's, it's just got more accurate sensors, and like you said, it's got that camera that makes it really easy to accurately display you know, information to how your head is moving. And that was a huge issue that I had when it was first coming out, and they had a tech fair downtown in denver and the first like minute i had that on i had to take it off because it was making me nauseous and we had to spend like 15 minutes to tweak the settings so that i could enjoy the oculus rift without getting sick and throwing up on their pretty display and that's a huge barrier to adoption and this now that they've established and they've got money and people are really looking into buying this they have the ability to refine these issues so they can automatically set settings based upon you swiveling around your head and you can get right back to gaming. Yeah, and the the other part that ties in with the, you know, the nauseousness that people get is the the way that the screen refreshes on the dev the previous dev kits that they put out. Uh basically what happens is you'll you'll have an image that'll stay there for just a, a small fraction of time but your brain confuses it with the next image and it causes motion blur and nauseousness and what they've done now is found a way to eliminate probably like 90 percent of that so it's an overall smoother experience and, and i would definitely give this project an eight out of ten just because we haven't we haven't really seen enough of it and seen enough people playing with it and i haven't obviously had a chance to play with it but it's definitely getting there, and I want to see this get cheap enough that I can just pick it up as like an alternative to my screen and use it in the home. Whereas before, it was like I could buy an Oculus Rift or I could buy a really fancy, you know, monitor that I can use in my day job because I work as a graphic designer and UX designer. But I mean, it was just difficult. But now we can definitely get it cheaper. And so the other thing that I wanted to say about the Oculus Rift is. I'm hoping that we get a lot more developers designing specifically for the Oculus Rift now that it's getting a lot more attention and more adoption. I can't really say a lot more attention because Oculus Rift kind of interest never really peaked. It's just kind of been there constantly. But right now, Oculus Rift is like, oh, my game also has Oculus Rift support, but we need it to go to... My game is Oculus Rift based, and it happens to have side support for other PC gaming. Once we reach that point, it's gonna be magical. Yeah, and I think once that point is reached, it's gonna explode, and they will. The, it's just gonna start flying off the shelves if if it doesn't before then already. So if they get that plus price point equals mm, delicious. So that's been our coverage of the Oculus Rift Crystal Co. for CES 2014. Don't forget to like and subscribe and check out some of our other videos reviewing some other products. And we'll catch you next time. Ta-ta! Bye, guys.